That's the Lord. I was thinking about my dad as uh, my brother was just preaching. I, I'll hurry up. But my dad would run a garage up there where we lived in Cool Ridge and work on everybody's vehicle. And a man come by that garage and invited my dad and mom to church. And my dad done what most men do. said, I don't want to go, but you can take that old lady up there. <laughs> Well, you know, that man didn't give up. He went up there and he asked my mom. And my, at that time, I wasn't even born yet. I was in 1963. And uh, he uh, asked my mom. My mom said, yeah, I'll take these two boys and go. That's my two older brothers. That was on a Sunday night. My mom ended up getting saved. Hey, Amen. Amen. She come home that night. Devil must not want this told. She come home that night and she was laying in the bed and she done something that you don't even hear at a Baptist church no more. She shouted. Hey, hey, man. Man. Hey. Scare my dad to death. <laughs> he thought the house was on fire. But my mom sat up in the bed and she said it was such a burden and lifted off my heart. Amen. Amen. My dad was taking care of a fella because like he said, he's a good neighbor, a good man. He did drink. He was an alcoholic at 36 years old. Yeah. But he was helping a man that was on his deathbed and he told my dad, he said, I think my feet's on fire. Mm -hmm. Man thought he was going to hell. That man died. My dad went to his funeral. The preacher preached a message about having assurance, not insurance, but assurance. Amen. If you die, would you go to heaven? Amen. Well, long after that, Dad got saved. Amen. Amen. Come home, busted all the bottles, poured it all down the drain. Amen. Amen. A cure Amen. for our family. Amen. Started going to church, and the preachers got after him. Wanting to know what he could do in the church. Could you lead the singing? Could you... Do something. He said, I'll tell you what I can do. He said, I can build a fire. <laughs> He'd go in the basement of that church before it started and build a fire in the wintertime. Everybody come in, take their coats off. Amen. That was Dad's first job in the church. Amen. Later on, he got called to preach at 52 years old. <laughs> Pastored his church till he got to go to heaven at 76. Amen. 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 Something hadn't been fishing in our family, I wouldn't be here tonight. Amen. Lord Amen. bless you, brother. And I thank the Lord that somebody cared enough about my dad and him and my mom. Amen. They'd go by and not give up. That's right. And I thank him for that. Yes, amen. <clears throat> bless him, Lord. Look outside your heart, my friend. A king's waiting to come in. It's been so long since he left his throne to be your friend. He gave up his wealth above. Just is love hey. so open your heart and let the king of glory come in hey. yeah, praise hey. God. the king of glory yeah. stay Christ the Lord. Amen. He wants to talk with you. He wants to walk with you. Amen. So burn your heart and let the King of glory Hear the 
and scorn. These royal hands and feet of this man was God for your sin. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Fill up his wounded side. That he died. Yeah, thank you, God. Yeah. So open your heart and let the key of glory come in. Yeah, bless the Lord. The King of glory stands outside your hey. door. Yeah. Who is King, the King of glory, is Christ the Lord. Yes, hallelujah. He wants to talk with you. Amen. Amen. He wants to walk with you. So open your heart and let So open your heart and let the King of glory come in. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Bless the Lord. Amen. Oh, my soul. Amen. Thank you, Brother Rick. Amen.